A shallow depth of field is the term given to when only a shallow plane is in focus, everything else is blurred. This is often seen as cinematic, yet it can only be achieved with cameras that have big sensors and lenses with wide apertures, which often costs a lot of money. We're going to be showing you how to create a fake shallow depth of field for free in post using HitFilm Express 2017. You can use the lens blur effects we're talking about in today's video to create a more cinematic macro shots or tilt shift time lapse effects, both of which are examples we'll be taking a look at in today's video. This tutorial is going to be rated 3 stars out of 5 on the difficulty scale. And so right in the hit film here, we're just going to jump into it. We've got two clips here, this is going to be the first example, this time lapse, and this is the second one. So in this first one right here, it's just a time lapse uh, of Los Angeles. And we're just going to right click on this and press make comp shot. By the way, that video footage, this time lapse is from videoblocks.com. I'll leave a link in the description. Now, first steps first, we've just got to blur it. So just search for the lens blur effect. This can only be applied in a composite shot and just drag it onto your video. Now it all looks really nice and blurry. You've got some nice bokeh for the highlights and it looks like a nice soft blur. But how do we make it so that it only blurs some parts of the image. Well, this is easier than you think. In fact, all we have to do is create a map. Now, a map that we're going to be using in here is not some kind of cartographer's map. Instead, this map is going to be telling us where we want the lens blur and where we don't. It's essentially going to be an image with each pixel being, yes, we want lens blur here, and no, we don't want lens blur there. So to create this map, I'm just going to go back into the media panel, hit new, composite shot. I'm just going to call this uh, time lapse map. Just hit OK. Make sure the settings are the same as in this composite shot right here. I'm just going to create a new layer now, a new uh, plane layer. Doesn't really matter what color because we're going to be doing some funky stuff with it later. I'm also just going to drag that same video footage underneath, just kind of as reference. Now, so that we can see that reference footage, there are a couple of things we can do. We could either lower the opacity of the top. Or we could uh, set the blend mode to be something like overlay. I'm just going to lower the opacity here so we can see the original. And essentially what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be cr applying some color gradients. Uh, so I'm just going to search for the color gradient effect. Just going to drag it on. You'll notice that we have black here and white here. And what this means in terms of maps is that black bits will be no blur and white bits will be lots of blur. Now that's only if you're choosing luminance, you can also choose things like red channels or alpha channels, but just for this sake, it's very easy just to do luminance. So we're just going to, uh, let's say, blur it down the bottom here, and we're just going to keep this, this shallow kind of plane in the middle, we're just going to keep all of that stuff in focus. I'm just going to duplicate this effect now, Command D or Control D on a PC. I'm just going to drag this guy up over here, so that all of these buildings are blurred as well. And I think this guy, I'm just going to drag this guy as well here, down here, so we have a bit more stuff in focus. Now I'm just going to turn back the opacities to see what our map looks like. I'm just going to straighten it up a little bit, and that looks pretty good. So all we're going to do now is we're just going to go into this uh, original comp with our lens blur on. Now we're going to go back into our media panel, drag this time lapse map underneath. And then in the lens blur, if we open up the properties or the controls, if we select the source layer to be the time lapse map, then now it'll only blur it where the time lapse map is. Now, since we've selected it to be alpha, that means that if there was anything transparent here, it wouldn't be blurred. But since we're using black and white, we can just go back into source channel and select luminance. And now we have some magic. Now, unfortunately, it looks a bit dodgy. We've got two kind of planes here, which are in focus and this blurred bit in the middle here where we want it to be sharp. So the way to get rid of this is just to set the focal distance to be zero. And now we've got this beautiful blur. You can customize this all you want. This is just the most basic, simple idea. Of course, you can change the radius to make it more blurry or less blurry. Uh, of course, completely up to you. But uh, we can just leave it for that right now. 
I'm not going to go into the rest of the kind of settings right here, you can play around with them. But we're just going to be taking a look at another example now, namely this. So this is just a, a video of uh, Arrival Blu-ray. So I'm just going to make a comp out of this, same deal, just hit OK. Now I'm just going to create another map. So I'm just going to go New Composite Shot, now I'm going to go Arrival Map, just hit OK. I'm just going to create a new layer now, new plane layer. Um, and I'm just going to drag that same clip underneath, same thing as b before, and in here in the controls, transform, just going to be set it down so that we can see our original. I'm just going to drag the same color gradient effect on. And what I'm going to do here is I want everything here in the foreground here uh, to be in focus and then everything on the wall here behind uh, to be blurred. And so the way I'm going to do that is I'm just going to set it to be black at the base and then over back here it's going to be white and very blurred. Now if we just set this to be 100%, uh, let's go back into this comp right here. If we apply the lens blur effect, let's just do that real quick, and we drag in this, uh, this arrival map, whatever that is here, lens blur, let's set the source layer to be that arrival map, and let's set the source channel to be luminance. Also, we need to lower the focal length to zero, the focal distance, sorry. And we can see that now everything that's right at the bottom here should be uh, is in focus, and then everything uh, towards the wall gets blurred, but so does the actual uh, Blu-ray itself, which is not what we want. That We want that to be in focus. So to counteract this, I'm just going to uh, create a layer mask. So I'm just going to create a new layer, a plain layer. I'm going to make it black, because everything that's black is not going to be blurred. Just going to hit OK. I'm just going to hide this layer right now. I'm also going to hide this layer itself. I'm just going to grab this uh, pen mask, this freehand mask. I'm just going to start masking around the actual Blu-ray. So just hit a point up there, click a point there, click a point there, click a point there, and just to finish it off, another point there. So let's go back to scale to fit. Let's show this one, 100% opacity, and also this one looks kind of weird here, but when we go back here, now it looks great. The actual Blu-ray is in focus, and the background is blurred. That's a really cool effect when you're doing macro kind of shots, uh, and all kinds of other things. Now we've noticed one problem right here, this kind of edge around the actual poster, and that's because the lens blur effect blurs out the Blu-ray until it's kind of outside of itself, so that's not exactly what we want to happen, but that's an unavoidable thing. The only way you can get around that is by shooting a clean plate, blurring the clean plate, and then masking out this just to be on top. But that does it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this uh, is useful to you. I've had a couple of requests about macro shots with lens blur and also tilt shift time lapses. So there you go. Those are some techniques for creating some really cool lens blur effects. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, of course, make sure to like the video share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe for more content just like this. I'll see you in the next video. Stay shiny. Bye.